What do successful people look like? Hmm. Do you know? If you don't, you're in the right place. If you're wondering what characteristics, what qualities, what trait that successful people mostly all have in common, then you're in the right place. Stay tuned. Hi there, Simply Subbies. Welcome back to the Simply Stacy YouTube channel. It's your girl, Stacy, And today I have a great video for you. We're going to be talking about the traits, characteristics, um, qualities that successful people all have in common, or at least the majority of them. We won't go and generalize it and say every successful person has all of these qualities, but these are qualities and traits that you will find as a common thread in most successful people. And before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and shout out my t-shirt. It is by uh, Her by She. It is a company, it's a black-owned female entrepreneur. And yes, I love it. You guys can see it. It gives the definition of what a girl boss is. And yes, definitely check it out. She is on Instagram at her, H-E-R-X, which is the by, and then she, S-H-E, on Instagram for sure. I know that she's on there. You guys can check her out. And yeah, let's get into it. We're talking the characteristics, the traits, the qualities, that je ne sais quoi, the whatever it is that um, successful people have. Okay, so we're going to get into these qualities. The first one is most successful people are kind of risk takers. They don't, you know, just sit back and let other people take all the risk. A lot of people say, you know, no risk, no reward. So they are willing to step out there on faith. They're willing to get out there and to try new things and sometimes to invest some of their coins in starting something new, maybe a startup, maybe in a website for a business. Um, successful people do take risks. So you will notice that trait a lot in successful people. Okay, another thing that you'll notice that a lot of successful people have is they have a strong mindset. They have a, a success mindset. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Maybe we'll do a video a little bit later where we do tell you, you know, how to build your success mindset. I think that would be a great video. Comment down below and let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in hearing from me. But yeah, they have this strong mindset. So when they set their mind to something, they're going to do it. They're going to accomplish it. If they have a goal in mind, they're going to work as hard as they can to actually achieve it. That is a characteristic of a person who definitely is going to be successful in life. A person that is probably already successful in life. Okay, number three, they embrace their failures. So you know that they are risk takers. And what we know is that sometimes risks don't always pay off. And if you're a person with an entrepreneur spirit or you're a person who takes a lot of risks, you definitely will come, there will definitely come a time when, you know, you may not, you may not succeed at that. It may not be a successful venture. It may not be a successful business, but that's okay. You embrace it and you learn from it. That is the key here is a lesson learned. You can fail all over again, but what constitute a person who is successful in their failures and a person who is just a failure is that the people that are successful in their failures they figure out what didn't work what they need to not do next time what changes need to be made and what part they played in it they take ownership and accountability of what they played what part they played in their failure and then they take that as a stepping stone to get to the very next thing so that is another trait or quality or characteristic that successful people mostly have. Okay, another one is they have really great focus. And I know that sometimes this may not always be the case um, in successful people because you have some people who, you know, are on to the next idea really fast because they're kind of, their mind just moves a mile a minute. But they mostly have a focus. Again, when we say like they set goals and then they focus in on that goal, they hone in on it until they achieve it. So they have a focus so that they can continue to build upon their success. Okay, 
This is one of my favorite qualities and characteristics of successful people, and it is that they are always learning. They are um, intrigued by many things. They are passionate about what they do, and they have a zest for knowledge. So they know that they, while they may know a lot, they don't know everything. And in this life, it is a continuous learning process. They're not afraid to can keep learning. They're not afraid to figure out what the next big thing is or what the next big thing is going to be. They get in there, they learn, and they continuously learn from others as well as from themselves. Another quality or trait that successful people have is that they have a vision and they set goals. So they know where it is that they want to go and then they set the goals. This is where I want to be at the end. And then they make all the steps that they are going to use to get there. If you have not checked it out, we have two videos up on this channel. One is how to set and attain your goals. So check that one out for sure. And the next one is how to um, achieve your ultimate goal, that ultimate goal you have in life. So definitely check out those two videos if you want to talk about goal setting. So how you can set and attain your goals and then how to reach and achieve that ultimate level of success or that ultimate goal that you have set for yourself what are the steps you need to take to get there? Check out those two videos on the Simply Stacey YouTube channel when you get a moment. Another thing that successful people have in common is that they are passionate about what they do. Most people that are super successful are passionate about what they do. It's not just something to do to, to get a check, right? They have a reason why they believe in what they're doing. It gives them this extra push or momentum to actually achieve whatever it is they put their mind to, to be successful in that particular business. They have a zest for it, a zest, a passion for whatever it is that they are trying to succeed at. The next thing that successful people have in common is that they have a lot of discipline. So they can stick to what they put their minds to. They can stick to whatever it is they're supposed to be doing. They are disciplined enough to get it done, to get it accomplished. They're not distracted easily by people who are trying to like pull them away from whatever it is they've set their mind to do. That is a really good quality to have is to be disciplined because if you don't have that discipline, you can easily be distracted. You can easily veer off the course that you've set for yourself or the course that maybe someone else has set for you to be successful at a certain thing. And last but not least, I will say that successful people are committed. They are committed to whatever the cause is, committed to whatever the task is, committed to the business, committed to um, just being successful in whatever it is they put their mind to. And it could be a number of things. It can range from in their professional lives, say for instance, a person who's gonna pursue being a medical doctor or a person who is pursuing a um, PhD, business degree, any of those types of things, they put their mind to it, they set it, they're, di they're disciplined, they're always learning, they set goals, they achieve those goals. Those are people that are, are on their way to being successful in their particular career. It can be all the way on the other side where I'm an entrepreneur and I'm starting a blog. I'm going to be dedicated to this blog. I believe in the cause. I believe in the concepts. I believe in the content that I'm going to be creating. And I'm going to make sure that that is a successful blog, a YouTube channel. Say, for instance, me, myself, and I. <laughs> so right now we're talking about my YouTube channel. I am consistently putting out content. I believe the subscribers will come. I believe that the watch hours will come. As long as I'm creating good content that somebody is watching, somebody is learning from, then I feel like I am dedicated and I'm disciplined enough to, this is a Friday at probably, what time is it, 9.30 a.m. I'm shooting content. I am off today. It is my off day from my regular job, but I'm still dedicated and disciplined enough to be creating content for you guys to help build my channel. And right here, as you can see on my desk, this is something that I am truly proud of. This is the Secure Success book 
a proven plan to prospering personally and professionally that I published um, last year, late last year, December, well, November 2020. I think the ebook was um, published and then the hardcover books in December. And then I launched it on January the 1st, 2021. But this was a labor of love. It took discipline. It took um, me being dedicated to it. It meant me believing in it, having a strong success mindset and all of the above. So if you are on your road to securing your success and becoming the best version of yourself, living intentionally, you know, it is my job to motivate you and inspire you to simply live your best life and to live it intentionally. And you can do so by adopting if you do not already have these qualities, traits and characteristics, help to build them. Um, build your self-confidence, build your discipline, set goals, check out those videos on setting and attaining your goals, also on how to achieve your ultimate goal, and you will be on your road to becoming the best you you can be, to becoming successful in every single area of your life, not just on the business front. That's why this book is so important because it talks about it all. There are three parts. It talks about your simply self. So we're talking your mind, your body, your soul, and even your, your finances because that's all a part of the person, the personal, the self-care, right? And then we go into talking about your relationships. So your simply shifts, your shifts with other people, your professional ones, and your personal ones. And then the third part of that, the very last part, is your service. So once you've done all you can, once you're the successful person that you've always dreamt you'll be, you're living that life you've always envisioned for yourself, what are you doing service-wise? How are you giving back? How are you giving back to either those that um, are less fortunate or how are you giving back to those who are coming up behind you? Are you leaving nuggets? Are you leaving wisdom? Are you teaching them, training them, coaching them and mentoring them? Because that's very, very important. Giving is also a gift for yourself. So think about that. If you guys don't have anything right now that you are um, being selfless in service to, then figure that out. Think about what you're passionate about. Think about the people um, causes that you would like to help and definitely once you become as successful as you want to be you'd have all the time in the world to actually dedicate time to that but even along your journey you can dedicate resources you can dedicate your time your ties your talents all of that to a cause or people that you really feel passionate about and want to help from this point forward so I hope this video was very helpful in helping you guys to determine and to identify and to even give you tips and pointers on what you need to work on if you want to be have, become a person that is successful in not just business, but in every area of your life. These threads are common in people. Go ahead, take some time. Think about the people that you know that you think are very successful See if you think they have these qualities and these traits. I'm going to bet that they do. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for coming to the Simply Stacey YouTube channel. Your presence is definitely appreciated. So are your likes, your comments, and mostly your shares. Share the knowledge. Share the wealth. Don't be a hoarder and hold it all for yourself. Definitely share with anyone you think can benefit from this information, anybody that's trying to be better versions of themselves, anybody that's starting an entrepreneurial journey, anybody that is really trying to hone in on their success, definitely share this video. I appreciate it. Definitely come back for more. I have way more content for you guys. So thank you so much for coming. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you can always be notified each and every time I post. I have been on a roll, guys. One of my goals has been to um, upload or publish a video every other day. I don't know how long this will last, but I've definitely done it for the last month. I'm probably on two months of doing this. And it's because I just, I love doing this. I enjoy doing this. I hope you guys enjoy watching, listening, and learning from me. I do not know it all. That's why I ask you guys sometimes to put stuff in the comments because you guys can teach me stuff as well. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time.